Yo, what's going on guys? Dr. Root 7 signing in back with another PlayStation Vita Homebrew app tutorial. However, it's not a Homebrew app. This is much more of a plugin that is going to enhance your PlayStation Vita's gaming experience. It's Vita Graphics Configurator that is going to increase the internal resolution of certain games and remove the FPS caps of certain games that is definitely going to make the gameplay a lot more smoother. Add it up with PSV Shell Plus is going to increase the performance of the PlayStation Vita even more. So I'm going to start with the Vita Graphics Configurator. So how to install that, I'll get to that in a moment. So let's start by running the Configurator first. So I'll have only show installed games checkmarked. Just uncheck it, you're going to get full access to all the list of the titles that the app allows to tweak. Some of them do not have the resolution tweaking option, like God of War Collection, it has frame buffer, and for other games, it has the internal resolution. For this one, I'm going to show you guys The Amazing Spider-Man. First, let me just check mark that box in order to narrow down the list. Yeah, so The Amazing Spider-Man, so internal resolution, this is how you change it, just press on X and then you're going to see it. 1280 times 720. For the FPS cap, I've set it to 60 FPS. It doesn't run on 60 FPS, but definitely makes the game a lot more smoother. And we're going to save the configuration, save the graphic settings here, and we're just going to exit out of it. Now, second is the PSV Shell Plus, an enhanced version of PSV Shell. This is how you access it by pressing and holding the PlayStation button and then just scrolling down. You're going to see all the menu here. Along with tweaking those settings, you can overclock your PlayStation Vita with the help of PSV Shell Plus and you can just you know increase the performance so the highest is 222 megahertz for GPU 500 megahertz for CPU and X bar is 166 megahertz try to keep the settings somewhere in between that's going to like save the PlayStation Vita's battery life if you're going to overclock it to the max it's going to drain the PlayStation Vita's battery a lot faster but for this game we're going to keep the settings to the max and like you know for the HUD, we're going to keep the FPS. Let's just start and see how the game runs. Just in case, I'm just letting you guys know if the game crashes, it means that your PlayStation Vita is just getting overloaded. So just, you know, disable everything and try to keep the resolution settings to off. That is going to definitely prevent your PlayStation Vita from crashing. So yeah, so look at this, keeping at a steady 30 FPS. Sometimes it's also going a little bit over. I was trying it with some other settings things definitely like you know going 20 fps or something like that but definitely the gameplay did get a lot more smoother let's just exit out of the game how do you install this okay so let's start with vita graphics first through auto plugin 2 second through vita db downloader go ahead and run auto plugin 2 go into vita plugins install plugins and here scroll all the way down until you see vita graphics this is the latest version you just go ahead and install it and restart your playstation vita vita database downloader okay so here on the search bar you just have to write vita graphics there you go Vita Graphics Configurator. So now it's version 3.0, it said. Second is PSV Shell. There are some steps that you guys need to take in order to install PSV Shell Plus. For those who already have PSV Shell installed, before installing PSV Shell Plus, you're going to have to delete PSV Shell profiles. If you used PSV Shell before, to manually clean the profiles before using PSV Shell Plus. So how you do that? So you're going to go into Vita Shell, you're going to go into UXO, then data, and look for PSV shell folder. Now, I do not have PSV shell because I installed PSV shell plus right the moment. So you're going to have to find, look for a folder named PSV shell and go into that folder and delete the profile folder. And after that, you're going to install PSV shell plus. 
and then just restart the system so that's how you're going to install ps visual plus and vita graphics obviously for some games like these kind of games like amazing spider-man or kills on mercenaries you definitely need to overclock your playstation vita or while playing unofficial ports especially grand theft auto san andreas or bully for these you definitely need to overclock your playstation vita that is completely fine playstation vita was made to take on a little bit more weight than how it has been designed unless you are exclusively running into any kind of issues like game is crashing battery is draining too fast or too quick do not need to worry about it while playing certain games definitely you're going to have to overclock your playstation vita but just don't do it for games that really do not require you to overclock so yeah this was my tutorial about how to overclock your PlayStation Vita and just enhance the resolution of certain games through Vita Graphics Configurator. And if you like this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. There are more contents coming. If you want me to help you out even more or better with certain stuffs like the PlayStation Vita unofficial ports, feel free to join my Discord server. I'm gonna see you guys on the next one. Dr. Brute 7 signing off. Peace.